welcome 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 to my channel please like comment and subscribe please watch my whole video to the very end thanks for stopping by checking out my channel hello 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 how are y'all doing on this wonderful blessed what is today? Thursday. Yes, the week has passed by so fast. Yeah, these days go by fast, especially when you almost got to go back to work. But anyway, um, today we are coming to y'all on this wonderful, blessed Thursday. Pray that y'all having a wonderful, blessed day today because we're going to rejoice and be glad in this day that the Lord has made. Yes, we're going to be glad about it. So today what I'm coming to y'all with today... A little bit something different, but not too different. So, you see all my ingredients laid out. You can see I have my good old salt, my garlic powder. Yes, my garlic powder, my garlic, I mean my onion powder. Whew. And I have this Cajun season. Yeah, Kingsters from the Dollar Tree. Don't sleep on the Dollar Tree now, y'all. And I have my black pepper going on as well. Yes, and I have this all bay season yes because i have shrimp and what we're going to do today we're going to also use my favorite miss judy yeah avocado oil so i seen her use the avocado oil i saw her the hands on praise him so um anyway um and this good old buttery flavor stuff from the dollar tree to spray the pan down so as you see i have the little things little little paper these i got these from the dollar tree but i had to cut them in half the little um hamburger sheet papers i cut it in half to go in my arm um, to go in my muffin pan so what we're gonna do i'm gonna go ahead oh i don't want my eggs to go nowhere so i'm gonna go ahead and pour some season up in these shrimp which is i'm using the old base season i want y'all to see what i'm doing it look a little dim in this kitchen to me it do so, it's hardly no Old Bay season. I'm going to have to get some more. I seen a Dollar Tree carry too, honey. So, you know, I'm going to have to get me some. Yeah, for my seafood and stuff. But you can use it on what you want to use it on, okay? So, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to season this up with everything, pepper, and all that good stuff. And I'm going to come back and show y'all after I season it up. Let me go ahead and season up using a Cajun season. Now, <coughs> ooh, it's choking. I don't never give a good thumbnail. I'll be back. And I also use just a little Creole pepper. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and spray this little um, stuff up in here on the, um, my, I really don't have to use this because I have the, um, the little wax paper sheets. But you know me, I'm a little extra when I do stuff. So that's that. So we're going to put that aside. I'm going to move this up some then we're gonna come back and i'm gonna show y'all so the eggs i always clean my eggs as well so my eggs are clean y'all probably say weird but you know it's good clean them eggs come eggs be a little dusty sometimes you get them i always look at my eggs so we're gonna go ahead and put that in there pull that in there there's two eggs that should be plenty for what i'm doing and i need to go ahead and turn my phone let my skillet get a little warm over here so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pour this good old 2% milk up in here. Yeah, you use what milk you want to use, honey. And I'm going to use this 2% over here. Yeah, I'm going to use this 2%, a little milk, make your eggs a little fluffy. So what we're going to do, I have some tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes. We're going to go ahead and put them tomatoes up in there, honey. We're going to do this thing. I'm going to put tomatoes in there. You know, I was trying to go to full steam, but I had to slow myself down a little bit. I want it all out of there. So we have some green onion. We're going to go ahead and put that green onion up in there. Yep. Put that green onion. We have some bacon bits. Yep. We're going to have go ahead and do that too. I don't even know what the name thing, but it's going to be a stuffed egg. A fully loaded egg. It's going to be something. So we're going to go ahead and pour that up in there, them bacon bits. Yeah, honey. We're going to get them on in too. Get them bacon bits on in there too. We're going to use those. We're going to go ahead and use some Italian um, cheese. Yeah, we're going to get that in there too, honey. I love cheese, baby. I'm telling you, you can't go wrong with that cheese, honey. I just didn't melt no butter and put it in there. We're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. 
So we have this good old Gouda, this Gouda cheese right here. Uh-huh, that's some good cheese. It's the slices, baby. It ain't the spread. This the slices. So guess what we're going to do? Guess what we're going to do? Guess what we're going to do? We're going to hook it up, hook it up. We're going to break it. We're going to break this cheese. Yeah, we're going to break it, honey. We're going to put it on up in there. Oh, I need to put me a little salt and pep up in there. I don't usually use salt and pep on my eggs and stuff. You know what I mean? I usually don't do that. But we're going to go ahead and put it in there anyway. You see, I'm tearing that cheese up, putting it on up in there, baby. You have to get creative. Because I get crabby sitting down thinking about stuff. Sometimes, you know, go and give it to me. I go with it. And I go do it. Yeah, go do it. So, that pan back there, he know, that's enough salt, honey. Because I don't want the husband to say, ooh, what you did to them eggs because they salty. So, we're going to go ahead and use Sweet Pea Little Blender, little mixing thing. We're going to go ahead and see how that is, honey. See how that is. We blend that on in good with the milk. Everything blended in, baby. And we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to let this sit for a minute. And that sit too long. But we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take you over to the stove and stuff. So, hey, that's blended up, ain't it? Look at that. Can't go wrong, boo. Can't go wrong. So, anyway, we're going to let this sit. Probably put in the refrigerator. But hold on. Okay, this is going to pop a little bit because I got my thigh up a little bit too high. Usually I turn it down. We're going to go ahead and pull this apple cutter all up in here. Yeah, we are. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. And we're going to put the apple cutter all down. We're going to put them shrimp up in here, boo. Show all is. I don't have the right um intention of stuff that i want to use on the stove so i got this good old fork and it's gonna do its job to go ahead and blend that up good blend that up good we're gonna drop some shrimp up in there oh i dropped i dropped that shrimp but hey it's going in the trash but i burned myself that's what i was trying to say i burned myself we're gonna go ahead and do it like that boy. put it like that you know i'm different every day over here in the kitchen but I keep it respectful, you know what I mean? I keep it respectful. That's what we do. Keep it respectful. We're going to go ahead, let these shrimp cook on up. And your girl, we'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. Just hold on. Watch my whole video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share me out to your family and your friends. Because this channel, it will grow. It will get up off the ground. Yes, it will. Yeah, come on over, new, new, new family members. Come on over. So we're going to let that cook a little bit. And hey, we're going to be on the road to... Move on to the next step. The oven already on set for 350. And we're going to bake these in the oven for at least 15 minutes. It may be less than that, y'all. Because we don't want no have, We don't want no overdone eggs. That's why we're cooking these shrimp. Because we, we want these shrimp already done, okay? All right, I'll be back, y'all. Okay, our shrimp is done. I'm taking it off the fire. Yep, y'all know me. I moved the whole pan over here with me, honey. You know, I moved the whole pan over here with me. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put these shrimp in here. I got to make sure the hooves are off these shrimp because we had an incident the last time. My husband like, you did you know the shells were still on those shrimp when you cooked them? But these shrimp supposed to be fully clean. But you know, I always know that you have to go behind people and check behind them when you're buying store-bought shrimp and you're not cleaning them yourself. So um, we're going to go ahead and put these up in there. Yeah, make sure the shells are because I don't want to eat no shells either, but... He ended up getting the uh, shells in his, and I didn't check them. Usually, I don't have to, but he bought a different kind from Wiley World. I bought a kind that always, you know, not only he bought a different kind. So, hey, so we're going to make sure ain't no hooks on these shrimp because when you eat, you want to enjoy your eating, right? You want to enjoy your food. So, we're going to have, I'm cooking two a piece, two a piece. And so, when I set this up, I'm going to show y'all, but hey, we're going to get it together right here. We're going to get it together. So, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let me go ahead and put all the shrimp up in there, and I'll be back to show y'all the, the um, rest. Let me go ahead. I'm showing y'all how I'm doing this, but you know, like, comment, and subscribe. Share me out. I'm dropping shrimp here. Well, like, I don't even want them to go up in here. But we're going to go ahead and do this thing. No, I ain't going to 
put y'all on pause. I want y'all to see the whole thing. You know me. You know me. You know me. Just like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Yes. I need the um all the probably the size of this pan. Oh, I'm, I got shrimps rolling, y'all. I got shrimps rolling. They rolling. They, they don't want to come up in here. They want to get up and walk away. But you must, you already cooked, so you might as well just get ready to get eight. Because we're going to eat you. We're going to eat these shrimp. They're trying to go. You can't go. You got to stay here. I already cooked you. <laughs> I like to have fun over here. I'm telling y'all, fun is a must over here. So, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You like what I got going on. Go ahead and hit that button. Go ahead and hit that button, honey. I'm telling you, go ahead and hit it. Go ahead and hit it. Hit it. Hit that button. So, you know, it's positive over here. I like the positive vibe and all that good stuff. I do not do no negative vibe. So, you know, don't come over here with the negative stuff. We're going to leave positive stuff because when I go to people's channel, I leave the positive comments, baby. I don't leave nothing. I don't leave that negative energy. And I don't tell them what they could have, should have did with their recipes. No, I don't tell them that either. But I love it. I love the positive comments. It's all right to give people advice on some things. But, you know, be, be good about what you do. You know, some people give me good advice on stuff. People that have been in the kitchen long with me and I take it. But just don't come with the other stuff. You know what I mean? The other stuff. All right. So... That we got that down and packed right there, honey. So let me show you what else we're gonna do, baby. Let me go ahead and do this. You probably say you're gonna grease them shrimp down. No, because when my shrimp come out, I don't want them my um eggs come out. I don't want them stuck to the side, boo. Okay. So I'm gonna grease it where it's nothing protecting it, okay? So hey, that's why I'm doing it, okay? That's why I'm greasing the sides with a paper. Wax paper is not protecting it. So, because I want my um eggs to come out, okay? I don't want to be eating at this pan, okay? All right, and I ain't mean to spray my shrimp with that hay. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put some, and I did end up spraying my shrimp, but you don't have to, but I should have greased the pan before I did it. I should have, but I didn't. So, it's, it is what it is. So, hey. I don't want my eggs sticking to my pan. Understand why I did what I did. Okay. So, I'm a little extra over here. So, you like what's going on over here? Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, honey. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Give me that big thumbs up. You know, I already came over here being nosy. So, you might as well go ahead and hit that button. Okay. All right, then. Let's go ahead. And we're going to do this thing. See the egg. With all that cheese and that good ingredient in it. That's what we got going on over here, good show, do. We're going to pour it on in there. We're going to pour it on in there. We're going to pour it. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to eat it all up to the fullest. We got this going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have fun over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have fun over here. So, we done pulled it up. We done did it up. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to make another one. We're going to make, see, that's what I should do the first time. We're going to make another one. I got it like that. Yeah, we're going to spray it on in now. Yeah, we're going to do our thing over here, yeah. We're going to have our fun and enjoy our breakfast. It's brunch now. It's brunch now. It's brunch, 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 brunch now. It's brunch now. Hey, it's brunch now. It's brunch, 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 brunch now. Hey, brunch, brunch. It's brunch now. It's brunch now. Hey, hey, hey. We're going to do it on no, We're going to eat it on no, We're going to eat up a good recipes. I'll waste the bacon, but it's all right. I like to have fun over here. I'm telling y'all. So, hey, we're going to go ahead and pour that on in. It's going to be a little hoo, hoo, hoo extra, but hey, 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 to the hey, hey. It's going to go in the oven. We're going to put it in there for like 15 minutes. 
it may not even be 15 minutes. Y'all may be 10 minutes because you know you don't want no hard eggs and stuff like that. But we <sighs> bless this recipe, Lord. It's going up in the oven. It's coming at. So y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hold on. Okay, y'all. Look, they came out pretty good. I told you they were gonna stick, so I'm just a little country. I had these plastic spoons. So hey, we're gonna go ahead and do this and I'm gonna plate it up. And I'm going to come back and show y'all the rest, okay? All right. Y'all had to see my pretty face because I knocked the foam. I'm recording off my phone and I knocked it right down. So just like my video, laugh at it if you want to. And there you have it right there. There you have it like comment and subscribe and i did um have to put my other eggs back in the um in the oven for at least a couple of minutes some of them was a little runny but not much runny but you know the heat will um have the eggs to um get done you know hey but anyway like comment and subscribe to my channel and that is what it is. Breakfast time. Y'all be blessed until next time. We're going to have us a cup of coffee with this. And maybe a little juice. Be blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Leave positive comments. Watch my video to the very end. Until then, y'all be blessed. And oh, one more thing. When you do this with the partially paper and stuff, make sure you spray that paper really, really good. If you use it because it tends to stick. Yes, it tends to stick. So, be blessed until next time. Thanks for stopping by watching my video and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed, blessed day. Thanks. Like, comment, and subscribe.